Agriculture in Dublin, GDA. Agriculture in the Greater Dublin area is very well developed because of its physical and human factors. Physical. Apart from the Dublin Mountains, the relief of the Dublin region is lowland. The topography of the land is flat. Farmers in the GDA can use efficient machinery on their land. Because the GDA is on the east coast of Ireland, the sea moderates the temperature of the land. Therefore, the GDA isn't as cold as the Midlands in winter and lacks frost compared to the Midlands. The underlying rock of the GDA is limestone, which is good for farming. This is because limestone contains calcium, which is good for grass. Cows also feed on the nutritious grass. Granite rock can be found in the Dublin Mountains, which is acidic and causes leaching. This is the only downside of farming in the GDA. However, this is only visible in the highlands. Much of the GDA was covered by glacial deposition at the end of the Ice Age. The lowlands are covered with a deep, free-draining, fertile, and all-purpose soils, which are very suitable for agriculture. Brown earth soil is a soil found in the lowlands of the GDA. Deciduous trees grow there and produce a thick layer of rich, nutrient soil called humus. They're deep, fertile soils and are good for farming. The temperature in the GDA is a good temperature for agriculture, ranging from 5 degrees to 15 degrees Celsius annually. This means that it doesn't get too hot or too cold, making it ideal for crop growing as soil needs to be about 4 degrees Celsius for seeds to grow. The GDA experiences 800 millimeters of precipitation annually, which is less than the perfect rainfall of 1,250 millimeters needed for perfect farming, but is still better than the northwestern region, which gets 2,200 millimeters annually. Human. Farms in the GDA are more successful than those in other parts of Ireland. This is evident because of the fact that the GDA only has 1% of the farms in Ireland, yet produces 11% of the country's wheat and 15% of potato crops. Farmers in the GDA are mostly young, making them dynamic for farming. Some farmers would even have an agricultural science degree from third-level education. Farmers in the GDA are affluent. They have easy access to the capital. They can afford modern machines and operate co-ops. Contract farmers are also in place. This is carried out on the basis of an agreement between the buyer and farm producers. TGASC is the semi-state authority in Ireland for research and development, training and advisory services in the agri-food sector. This is an operation in the GDA giving farmers here an advantage over other parts of Ireland. The GDA has 1.9 million people, 40% of Ireland's population, living locally to supply products to in-local markets and have affluent customers to buy their products. Therefore, farmers in the GDA are better positioned than farmers elsewhere in Ireland. Dublin, in the GDA, is the main distribution center for distributing products out of Ireland. This gives farmers in the GDA an advantage when exporting products to foreign markets because with nearby, easy access. Therefore, they travel less with lower costs. However, Brexit will affect Ireland's exports. The GDA has M1 and the M50 going in and out which makes it easy to go to and from the GDA. This is a low friction of distance. This is a huge advantage for farmers here transporting products from farms to markets.